Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about how diesel fuel systems work uh, from the tank to the engine. And uh, you know, rather than do my usual stand in front of a whiteboard routine. Do people um, watch that whiteboard? You know, crazy. surprising. People are pretty That's, into whiteboards these days. I, I have one right over there. Just Right on. It's not bad looking. We didn't include Thank it in the you. shot. You know, it's probably... Uh, taking back from the video that it's not in the shot, but you know stickers will do. Well, so perhaps we'll maybe use the cork board. We can maybe draw maybe pictures and put some more Hot Wheels up there while we're filming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but regardless, we're just going to work through the different components and talk about what they do. Absolutely. So the first thing, uh, your fuel goes into a fuel tank. So Charles, tell me a little bit about a fuel tank. What does a fuel so tank do? So the great thing about fuel components is in the name, they tell you exactly what they do. So the fuel tank is a tank that holds fuel. Uh, ah. I know, it's crazy. Okay, so where's the fuel going from the fuel tank? So once it's in the tank, the fuel's pulled up into an electric pump. That pump is the delivery pump that delivers volume from inside the tank up into the engine compartment. Okay, so, so it's not necessarily increasing the pressure, it's no, just moving it. this is a volume pump that's okay. inside the tank. And then from there, where is it going? So once we're in the engine compartment, we actually go into the fuel filter housing. Again, that does exactly what it says. So That'll filter. this fuel filter, what does it do? It filters the fuel. Ah, okay. Yep, self-explanatory. Self-explanatory So indeed. it comes in, it goes through the filter, it goes out. And where does it go after it travels through this beautiful filter? Once we filtered the fuel, we then go to an electronic fuel pump. Now, not all of the diesels are going to have the pump. electronical fuel pump. Uh, that is more of an early generation common rail part. Okay. And that will increase volume. What is and this out of? Pressure as well. These, all these components are out of a generation one common rail Volkswagen. I don't recall exactly what car they came out of, no but all these components came out of a car that was misfueled. So these all had gasoline okay. uh, contamination on them. Bad. Or in them, I guess, to be Okay, more so we've got our electronic fuel pump and that's sending fuel to what? From the electronic fuel pump, we then go to the mechanical high pressure fuel pump. The mechanical pump's driven by the timing belt, so it's timed just like the camshaft okay. and the crankshaft are going to be. And it's actually pretty cool. You can see inside here, uh, you've got this cam lobe, and so this rotates. And as this rotates, you've got this right here, which is going inside here, somewhere like uh, this. I'm not that good at it, but point is, it, it, that's, yeah, that's, right. Am I <laughs> close enough? Yeah, that's, so anyways, ram that, it in there. <laughs> <laughs> that cam lobe's in there spinning, and that's pressing up against this, and as it presses up against this, it's pumping this thing back and forth, and that's squirting fuel out here. So it's like that, and then <laughs> squirting out there, right? That's what's that's happening. A, that's exactly right. Okay, you, you're laughing, but that's exactly I, what it's doing. You nailed it. You, okay, you nailed, nailed it. nailed it. Yep. Another uh, euphemism we've got going in there. So this is squirting out fuel at a higher pressure, and then where's that fuel going? Once we leave the high pressure pump, we actually switch from mostly rubber lines to uh, a hard material line because of the okay. increased pressure. We're running at roughly 800 bar, depending on which exact generation so of So 800 engines. bar times 15 per PSI, that's about 1200 PSI. Someone will nitpick and that say an what the That is an estimated, actual estimated number, yeah. fuel pressure, correct. That's what the engineer would write down uh, for target. E EST just, yeah. dot dot dot. 1200 12K, close Yes. Meh. Yeah, okay. exactly. Ex that's well, to be fair, that's so what the technician would write down to. So it's going from this to this. Correct, this is uh, the fuel rail. We have sensors on each end of the fuel rail. High pressure fuel comes in here, then it's distributed okay. out to the injectors. Well, yeah, I mean, yes. there's a line in between, yeah. but yeah, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not that poor at uh, connecting threads to <laughs> threads. But anyways, uh, so the fuel comes in here, and then where's it going from here? From the rail to the delivery lines for the injectors, then we go into the fuel injectors ah. that I have right here. I'm going to hold this one. Thank you. Now this, see this does screw on. That this. works perfectly. Pretty good at that. Okay, so these are fuel injectors, and what do these right. do? These inject fuel into the cylinder. This is a direct injection fuel system, so it goes straight into the cylinder, which is actually pretty common on diesel engines. Now, is this going to be remain at that 1,200 psi? Is that the pressure that it's injected at, or roughly, 800 bar, roughly. roughly? And that varies uh, depending on the engine and things like that. Correct. Okay. Great. We also have a low pressure control <clears throat> side. Without the low pressure side, which is this line here, uh, the injector actually won't work. Oh, interesting. So after the fuel goes into the engine, what happens? Kaboom. Kaboom. That's where all the magic happens. And then you are powered and you're on your way. Yep. Then 
coming out of the tailpipe, we have up to 40 times more NOx emissions. Oh, wait, that's, <laughs> that's for a different video. Oh, this is, a, this is a Volkswagen system. So yeah, cheating comes out yes. of the tailpipe. Actually, cheating starts at fuel fill up. We like that's to make true. sure, Just you know. Just cheat the whole way through. You might as well Why if not? you're going to go not? for it. Go big. Yeah, forget the urea injection. Just go for it. That stuff costs a lot. That's right. We don't want cost. We want power. We want, we want power and torque. Okay, cool. I think that sums up our fuel system. The most important thing you have to do at this point is subscribe to Charles' channel, The Humble Mechanic. I'll include links all over the place uh, in the video description, things like that. Uh, and thank you, Charles, for walking me through this system. Yeah, Jason, thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate it.